got a very special guest for Fairgo Friday, Morris Gleitzman. And Morris and I have an important message, which is a puppy is not just for Christmas, and a book is not just for book week. This is Morris's latest, Help Around the House. And uh, Morris, it's got a very uh, familiar looking building on the front. What's it, it about? It does. It's about a boy who goes to live in Canberra with his dad, who's just been elected as an independent federal MP. And it's really about youthful enthusiasm. I meet thousands, tens of thousands of kids each year, and I'm reminded every time that young people prefer to think the best of people, including adults. So young Ludo assumes that everybody who goes to Canberra to contribute to our parliamentary enterprise goes with the best of possible motives to make the world, society, and as many needy individuals as possible better off. So he's a little bit shocked when he discovers that stuff that at school and at home he was sent to his room for, squabbling, name calling, forming gangs, bullying and stuff, seems to be the prevailing culture in Parliament House. And he believes in helping people wherever possible. He hadn't planned that this would be how it would turn out, but he discovers that the people who need his help most in Canberra are those earnest but sometimes distracted people who are on the, um, on the floor of both houses. He just wants to help them do their job better. And uh, one of the things we've been talking about is how you can actually use the power of stories. Uh, and anyone who wants to make a difference in the world needs to remember that using stories and sharing stories is actually a part, key part of doing that. Any parents watching, any aunts, uncles, grandparents, carers of any adult category, if you have the capacity to help young people in your life read more, it will pay what I think in the investment bank um, world they call dividends. They will be stronger, smarter, more determined, cleverer, better able to not only face the problems of the future, and I think we can agree there's a few of those rattling around the planet, but they will be better able to embrace and make the most of their opportunities for their own happiness, great relationships, families, all the things we want for them. Stories have been with us for thousands of years for a purpose. They give us stuff we need, not just entertainment, they help us grow and that happens a lot when we're a lucky kid with a life full of stories. Not just that one, although, you know, maybe among the others. So if you know a young person in your life who needs to go and find that magic of stories and they haven't quite found the right book, maybe give one of Morris's a go. Uh, and Morris, thank you for doing Fair Go Friday. My pleasure, and can I just add that um, that I think sometimes our libraries need a bit of a, a more of a fair go. Some, some of us are lucky we've got local councils who put good money into libraries. Kids shouldn't have to scratch around for money to read a good book. And if you think your school library is looking a bit thin on the ground, have a word to the principal. You have the power in that school, you parents. Let him or her hear what you think. All right, there's some homework for the parents. Make sure you're bending your school principal's ear about having great libraries supporting the librarians and making sure there's heaps of quality Australian books and Australian stories in that library. Thank you, Patrick. And Thank I you wish Morris. you the fairest of goes in your future <laughs> career as a nation's leader. Thank you.